Now we're going to demonstrate the resocking blade cutting a number of different types of wood. Let's go ahead and get some wood and get this thing rolling. finish there. It's a beautiful book mass right here. This is a tall cut. I'm going to use a uh, little feather board my stock up against the fence. Perfect cut, even in ingrain. That's a challenging cut. This is a very soft and fibrous wood, and it goes through it perfect. Beautiful. You can see how there's no chip out or tear out right through the burl and through the tight, twisted grain here. Let's try a thin cut of that. Absolutely beautiful. You can see how it almost just polishes the wood right here. And again, no chip out or tear out at all. And that's a perfect veneer from a nice burl. And right there, you're about halfway to a nice four-way book match. Now, a quick coat of Danish oil there. You can see how that grain just really pops and just how nice the quality of that cut is. And again, this is a beautiful four-way book match. And of course, this may not be the perfect piece of wood to do this with. If you have a nice piece that uh, doesn't have these voids here, it'll make a nice tabletop. Now, one of my favorite applications of the Resaw King Blade is to open up some wood that looks a little bit ugly on the outside. Let's see how it looks on the inside. Let's take this board and see how it looks. Wow. Now this is just kind of a cleanup cut to flatten one side. A lot of times I do that on the joiner, but I can start pulling off some useful veneers at this point with the saw. A little spritz of Danish oil here. Look at that grain just pop. Wow. Look at the flame and the tiger stripe in there. This looks like rosewood, I'm going to guess. Wow, these cuts never cease to impress me. This is flawless cuts right here and a beautiful piece of wood. Now, you know that the Resaw King Blade cuts wood absolutely dynamite. 
We have customers that have a lot of applications, and some of the applications they have are not wood. We have customers that cut plastics and paper. Let me show you a couple of examples of that. Well, the plastic industry has come to us and asked us to uh, cut different types of plastic, and this is what I would call polycarbonate plastic. And let's see how this one cuts. fantastic cut even in plastic. Now certain plastics will melt on you. This type of plastic does really great. Let me show you another type of cut you can do in plastic. There's a perfect cut that notches the end of the piece here. And that's uh, because the resaw king blade actually can cut on the side profile as well, thanks to the shape of the tooth. Well, you can see how well the resaw king blade does, and whether you're cutting maple, or if you're cutting Douglas fir, some curly koa, papers, or plastics, you can see it's the perfect blade for many of these applications. And to keep your resaw king blade performing at its top, it is a resharpenable blade. And to resharpen it, you simply coil it up, put it in a box and ship it back to us at Laguna Tools. When we resharpen your blade, it goes through the same process it does as when we make your blade. It goes through the same machine and it's clean and it goes through the solvent bath, cleaned up, resharpened and shipped back to you in perfect shape. If you'd like any more information about the Resol King Blade or any of our products, give us a call. Our number here is 800-234-1976 or go to the website at www.lagunatools.com. On the home page, you can click a link for a Resaw King Blade Resharpening, and you fill out the form to have your Resaw King Blade Resharpened. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Happy cutting.